Welcome to the second installment of what you see before you hear. I'll be going over some of the upcoming albums as well as some that released earlier this month in February. The first cover that I'll be going over is for A Boogie's album, Artist 2.0. It released on Valentine's Day. The cover art to me was a 10 out of 10. I wasn't familiar with the person who illustrated it. Their name is Cosmic Spectrum, but when I researched them, they had a large following. So I'm pretty sure A Boogie knew who he wanted to do this, and he probably wanted them to be very skilled. It was very advanced as far as the illustration went. It looked very real. The actual symbolism, I would like to know more from A Boogie, but for me, I could tell he was wielding a weapon of his choice, which looked like a guitar, as well as like an actual deadly weapon, and small female figures on there. The cover gave me like a Kingdom Hearts vibe, and overall, it just set a good tone. A Boogie's is known for having very artistic cover art. So, I mean, it makes sense. His brand is always like that. The next cover is NBA Youngboy. His album, Still Flexin', Still Steppin', is gonna be releasing February 21st. It really caught me by surprise because he had already posted an album cover that we probably all thought was gonna be the official. And on this album cover, you're looking at it it kind of, I guess he's, what he's symbolizing is he's kind of like still in the streets, but he's also in his business, you know, he's kind of moving up, you know, one foot in, one foot out, kind of, and uh, it was just very surprised, because out of nowhere, he announced the official album cover, which is done by somebody that we're familiar with, Trill Graphics, we actually interviewed him in episode two of our series, so that was cool to see him get that accomplishment, especially since he's worked with Youngboy before and he did the Reeler album. So it makes sense. The cover is, it's good. It's a good representation. If it's Youngboy's brand, I'm pretty sure he must have liked it and contacted Trill because Trill already had the concept up on his page. And then next thing you know, it became the official cover art. So uh, just check it out. We're looking forward to that. On February 28th, G Herbo will be releasing his fourth studio album PTSD the album cover has been getting a lot of attention due to its overall impact with the message of the cover art he's holding an American flag with uh, bullet holes and and blood dripping it's just very damaged and then he's replaced the 50 stars with 50 people that are deceased a few are fallen soldiers that have died from gun violence uh, to the normal person, they'll probably know Juice World, but to anyone that's from Chicago, a lot of these faces might be familiar. I noticed Fredo was on there, Capo, and Blood Money. Uh, those people, a lot of people probably know them from Glow Gang. Also seen LA on there. Um, it kind of gives me the same vibe as that FBG Duck did when he released his Chicago Legend song. You know, it's like that, and it just really hits home. And it's interesting because this country was built on violence, and I respect G Herbo for bringing this to the forefront because it's something that always needs to be talked about. So for him to do that, and it's not all bad. It's gonna be good moving forward. He's always gonna be remembering these people in a good way. And also when he goes out and he does these interview, cover art is going to get more attention and exposure actual cover art as well as let me mention the cover artist which was tj spencer he's worked with g herbal before he's very talented and um yeah they're gonna have a lot of talk about this because the interviewers are gonna want to know mainly about the cover because you're gonna see it before you hear it first